Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Friday, June the 16th, 2017. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market, macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and then we create our hypotheses for the day. We do create multiple hypotheses in order to have a plan in place, then wait to see what the market does, and then execute the plan that best fits the market. This is a sub sub uh, subscription room. If you're interested in checking it out, please send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. We do everything live here uh, during the course of the go-to in the pre-market session, then live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results in any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Okay, quick uh, news. Of course, it is Quad Witching Day. Uh, so we have options expiration as well as futures. Uh, this morning we had... Uh, <laughs> Uh, news out at 8.30 Eastern Time. We had foreign security purchases for Canada. Uh, came in at uh, $10.6 billion. A uh, little beat. U.S. building permits came out less than expected. $1.17 million versus $1.25 expected. And against $1.23. Uh, so housing uh, permits are slowing. And housing starts are slowing as well. Came out at one09 versus 1.23. 10 o'clock, we've got University of Michigan uh, preliminary consumer sentiment and uh, inflation and, and inflation expectations. We've got labor conditions index. And then at 12.45, we've got uh, member Kaplan speaking. But that's about it for the scheduled news. Uh, of course, it is quad witching. So taking a look at the uh, SPY and the max pain. Max pain is above us right now. Uh, it is at 249 on the SPY. That is where the most money will be paid out against both the calls and the puts. So it's called Max Payne and something to watch because they're likely to take it one direction and then rotate it back up towards this, uh, which would be uh, basically where we're at in terms of you know uh, buying the dip uh, today. Taking a look at yesterday's uh, trading, uh, we opened auction, uh, you know, out of range, below value, rotated down, went down and tested that key line in the sand. At this point in time, hypo one was clearly in uh, play, and then hypo two stepped in at the uh, at the key line in the sand and the overnight low. They one ticked the overnight low. We had a failed auction there, and then they started rotating it up, fought the range low, uh, you know, for most of the day. And then uh, we started rotating up. And we did get the uh, uh, a zipper measured move that had a target at 33 and a quarter. And they actually went up and hit that 33 and a quarter in the uh, ETH and Globex session um, and actually went up into the 39. Taking a look at the, uh, the macro and micro, I would just like to start my day uh, with a simple candlestick chart. Uh, I use a 9 EMA, 20 SMA on my paper money, and then I just basically am looking for where we are within the different time frames. Excellent trend, nowhere close to being challenged on the monthly. On the weekly, same thing. On the daily, we've taken back the, uh, the violation uh, that occurred, and uh, we are now back above the 9 and the 20, so the trend is still intact on the daily. On the 4-hour, uh, we've got uh, basically consolidation as we uh, as we fight the uh, the balance that we're in uh, going to the one hour uh, we had a upward trend uh, through most of the uh, globex uh, now off of the news they've come down and uh, starting to rotate back down and below the nine and the 20 so it's possible trend change on the one hour on the 30 minute you do see the same thing uh, break below the 9 and the 20. There is a naked cross down here at uh, the 22.75. Mark that on your journal. Uh, 15 minute. You can see the acceleration uh, start of a downward trend on the lower time frame. And then the 5 minute 
you can see that it's accelerated as well. So even though the larger time frames are all very much in the upper trend, uh, we are getting some rotation within this balance. And uh, that's what I re really want to just uh, clarify right now, that between this, uh, this 16 and this uh, you know, 43.50 all-time high, we've been in some solid balance. I want to bring, I need to bring this day in, sorry. Um, and we're getting uh, you know, multiple distri distribution zones with undetermined fair value uh, at between 22.50, 27, uh, and uh, 35.50, 35.50 being the most traded price within this balance. Uh, our over underlying today is going to be this uh, 31.75. Uh, below it, there's uh, an immediate target at the 30 and a quarter, but uh, 27 is, uh, is a dominant uh, microcomposite HVN and we could rotate down there, even possibly down to 22. Our uh, microcomposite value is at 23.50. So our weekly value is down here at 23.50, couple weeks value, I should say. Um, but if we don't hold the 22, then I think the, uh, the uh, acceleration to the downside should occur and uh, move down to the 16.50 area. Uh, the week the week open is 28 and a quarter, or I'm sorry, 28 even. Uh, so coming down to test that open uh, would not be surprising whatsoever uh, if we can't get back above the 31 and a quarter. But we are in a large range balance, okay, with a lot of wicks and tails showing that uh, the you know, the bears and the bulls are still uh, fighting, but the Bulls, the buyers, okay, are still in control. Every time they take it down, the buyers buy it back up. You know, we saw that yesterday. We gapped down, uh, you know, below. Uh, it looked like we were gonna, uh, we were going to gap above uh, to, uh, yesterday, but on that uh, housing starts news, we come back down, and we're probably going to open up just inside of range, just outside, uh, just outside of balance. So, taking a look at the overnight, you can see that inventory is going to be pretty much about 60% uh, net positive, uh, but it is giving neutral, uh, more neutral with the uh, more volume and time that we uh, spend down here. And we're not likely going to get a, uh, a shift. This profile from yesterday was a very ugly looking profile. I, that was just a really ugly profile. Trend day. We left value, uh, you know, below. We did not get the VPOC shipped up, and then we closed right one tick off of the high. So the we are we we we're continuing in price discovery. When you see that, you should expect that the market is going to continue to rotate up uh, into the globe accession because we left that value all the way down here. Uh, the question is, do we rotate back down there? Uh, in the R in the RTH session today, it's gonna be whippy. Okay, they're gonna move it. I would say try to get your trading done early before the European cash close, because in the afternoon it's gonna get very unpredictable, and uh, you gotta really manage your risk on quad witching day, uh, because they're gonna they're gonna take it in both directions. We're likely looking for a lot of uh, of large rotations. Uh, you know, during the course of the RTH session and getting quite jiggy uh, near the end of the session. Our 20-period daily uh, full session ATR is running at 1528. What just happened? Oh, crap. I don't know if I did that. So I just got to restart this. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so our 20-period full session daily ATR is running at uh, 1528. Uh, so right now, off of the high of overnight of 3675, 
our downside daily ATR target is down at 21. And off of the low overnight of 29.75, which could uh, be challenged here. is 45 and that takes us up to uh, new all-time highs okay our week open is uh, is 28 uh, so our critical mass above us is 43 and a quarter and our weekly critical mass below us is down at 13 and a quarter so I'd be really watching this 43. I'm not sure we're going to see the 13s, but it's possible. Anyway, uh, the VPOC is not likely going to shift from overnight 35. And we've got that naked VPOC and naked close just above it. So we're back up. The buyers are still in control. We're going to open auction in range just outside of value. The value area is not really that important. Uh, uh, today because it was a trend day yesterday. So our key line in the sand for me is going to be this 3175. I don't think the high is going to be much of a barrier for us. Sorry, not our key line in the sand, it's our over under line. And below it, uh, I'm looking for the overnight high to be taken out and to move down to the 27. And then I'm looking for possible support to come in here at the VWAP, the midpoint, and the IB high from yesterday. Below that, I'm looking for the continuation down to the 22 and a quarter. Sorry, 22.50, and possibly come down and test the uh, uh, ATR downside and take out this naked VPOC. This is not valid anymore. Our key line in the sand is the low from yesterday, but I will look for some support coming in just below uh, here at the open and the 19 area. The, uh, we were talking about this yesterday, that the buyers were stepping in in between the 18 and the 19. And then to the, uh, the rest of the numbers are pretty clear to the downside, uh, to the upside, above the over-under line. Uh, I'll be looking for uh, the breakout and a move up into this uh, naked VPOC, overnight VPOC, and a take out of the overnight high and, of course, continuation to the upside. <clears throat> Some resistance coming in at the... 37 and a quarter. And then above that, clear sailing to that 42 and the all-time high and a lot of targets that we've got up here. So what is my hypothesis? My hypothesis is going to be whippy. I'm looking for, you can already tell from yesterday, the, uh, the size of the rotations were large yesterday. Uh, and that's typical of coming into uh, quad witching. I'm looking for an open auction just in range. I'm looking for uh, responsive selling down into the, uh, the uh, overnight low, possibly even into the, uh, the 27. And somewhere between 24 and 27, I'm looking for uh, buyers to step in and start rotating us up and basically chopping and then pushing up into this 35 area to 37 area, chopping around there, and then getting a late day probe up into uh, the new all-time highs and going into new all-time highs. Remember uh, that maximum pain is above us, okay? Uh, you know, uh, so likely going to take it down and then rotate it up. My hypo two is an open auction out of range. Cause the pain first to the upside, 
come up into the 35, 38 area, possibly even 42, even put in a new all-time high, and then have strong responsive selling rotating us down into yesterday's uh, range and coming back in and chopping between the 35 and the 27. That is my hypo two. Hypo three is an open drive or an open test drive uh, and a breakout push up through chop around here quickly and then push up into the 42, 43 area and get a continuation day and take us up towards this 2450 and a quarter and our weekly upside ATR uh, target. And then hypo four is an open auction in range, a false breakout, and then finding responsive selling, and then rotating us back down towards the 19, chopping around here, failing, and getting a, 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 a trend day back down towards the 24.04.50, 24.05 area, and closing somewhere down here. Um, those are my four main hypotheses. Gold, uh, we are uh, chopping around that uh, 58 area again. Uh, they got up to, I think, as high as 58.60 and then failed. What I'm watching for is chop in this area, continued chop, and waiting to see if the compass of VPOC shifts back down into the 58 area and uh, then determining whether or not we hold above or below that for whether or not we get continuation. We do have a $46 uh, you know, dollar move down, but we created a weak low. We came down here and uh, tested this low from yesterday in the, in the overnight session and uh, created a weak low. So we could push a little bit further down into the 49, but I am looking to find some buyers somewhere down here uh, if we can hold the 49 and rotate us back up towards the 69 area again. I uh, just don't know if it's going to be today with, uh, with quad witching. Anyway, that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.